to set up notifications, click on your name and choose settings. Look to the left and choose notifications. On notifications, make sure that your email address is here. If it is not, there will be a plus sign and you can click on the plus sign to add your email address. You can also edit the email address that is listed. You can also add your phone number to receive text messages. If you do not have your number there, you, can, you will see a plus sign, once again, right here. You can click on that, add your number, and follow the prompts to add your text number. If you scroll down, you'll see announcements. To the right of announcements, you will have set up options or edit options. Please click on options. Make sure emergency notifications is checked, as well as under my groups, academics, which are classes, activity, which are clubs, advisory, every student has an advising group, community, which are also clubs, and athletics, which are for teams. Under my child's groups, make sure you click academics, activity, advisory, community, and athletics. Don't worry, if your child is not on a team right now, you will not receive any information about it. You only receive information to which your child belongs, and then click Save. Now to the right of Edit Options, please make sure to check email and text if you would like text. We would also like you to check email and or text next to game update and practice changed. All of your other options are optional and you can choose in or out as you wish. Once you get to the line called bulk email, please do not alter any of the check marks below there because that gives us permission to send you the notifications. When you log into MyGDS, you will land on the Resources tab, otherwise known as the Resource Board. If you look to the right, you will see all of the divisions for your children. You can choose all or just see the upper school, middle school, and there is also a Learning Resource Board for the lower school. On the Resource Board, you have a link to Magnus Health, and if you have any questions about Magnus Health, please contact our health room. You have a link to Smart Tuition, and if you have a question about Smart Tuition, please contact our business office. You also have a link to the Bengal Cafe and Flick Dining, and if you have a question about the cafeteria service, please contact the Bengal Cafe. The resource board also contains a lot more information. For example, about GDS athletics, counseling resources, after school care, tech help, um, Greensboro Day School College counseling, pandemic preparedness, school calendars, and upper school curriculum. The calendar tab. This provides you with a view of everything in my GDS in the form of a calendar. If you look to the left hand side, you will notice a column that says My View. You can save your view once you edit it to be the way you want it. First, you have My Calendars, and as a parent, you probably don't have assignments, so you can hide all. Beneath that are the calendars of your children, and here you can choose Assignments, Schedule, Games and Practices, Class Events, and Group Events. If there is an arrow pointing to the right, that means that you can also drill down to more detail. And then below your children's calendars, you have the school calendar, general school athletics, art calendar, parents association events, alumni calendar, college representative visits, and parent education. I'm going to hide all of these. 
so that now the only things showing pertain directly to my children. Here you can see what homework is due. You can also click, for example, on the practice and you can see the exact times. You also have their school schedule here. Then if you look up to the top, you can have a day view, a week view, or a month view. Continuing to the right, you can go back a month or go forward a month. And then continuing all the way to the right, you can choose to see it in a list form or back in the grid, the calendar. You can choose to see more details. You can also download it into your um, own Google Calendar or iCal, and you can print it. To see your child's grades, look on the left side to where it either has your child's name or children, and click on your child's name. This will take you to the Progress tab. Directly underneath the word Progress, you will see Select Grade. You can look at past grades also. Then you have Performance. Performance is where you can see report cards and transcripts. You also have the Attendance Summary. Attendance is taken per class, and your child has four classes a day. You can also see team results, and then you have a listing of your courses and their grades. You have term, and you can choose first semester or second semester, and then where it says grades, you can also pick there. I'm going to choose semester one. You can see what's due today, assigned today, and active. You can see the overall percentage of the class, and then you can click on see grade detail to drill down for more details. Up top, you will see any exempt, incomplete, late, or missing works. You will see grades by category. You have a graph of each assignment. And then if you continue to scroll, you will have assignments listed by category. And if there is a comment or a note made by a teacher, you can see that there too. You can then go to either a previous course or the next course, or simply close this window. Below courses and grades, as you scroll down, you will see your child's advising, any teams that they are on, as well as any community groups or clubs that they are in. Click on your child's name, and then you will notice that you have the progress tab and then the schedule tab. Click on schedule. Here, you can see a list of your child's classes, along with the time that they meet, their block, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and H, their teacher, and then where they are located and whether or not your child attended. Because the class is in blue, you can click on the class and go to the page, the class page, where you can then see the bulletin board, topics, assignments specific to that class. To see your child's assignments, go to your child's name and click on their name. You can see the assignments under the assignment tab. The assignments tab, on the assignments tab, you will be able to advance from day to day. You can also pick whether or not you see the, it by day, week, month, or a certain date range, whether you are seeing them sorted by assigned, active, or due. On the left-hand side, you'll see their, the course name, the category, and then the details of the homework assignment. If you would like to see the details, click on the assignment. And on the left-hand side, you will see the details needed for the student to complete the assignment. And on the right-hand side, if they are allowed to submit through MyGDS, you will see the to-do with the icon that looks like a piece of paper with an up arrow. They click on to-do in order to submit their assignment. To get back to the assignments page, click the back button. To the right of the details, 
you will see when the assignment was assigned and when it is due. Another way to see assignments is going back to the student's class. We can go to the schedule. I can click on the class there and then go to assignments. And those will be assignments specific to that one class. 